These veterans once wore uniforms like this one. Now they're cutting the cloth to create handmade paper. It pulls me out of myself. Frontline Paper, a program of the nonprofit Frontline Arts, has become part of the weekend routine for Army veteran Jan Barry. He and others start the paper making process by cutting donated military uniforms. For Barry, that's where the creative process begins. Suddenly it triggers some memory. Uh, and quite often the discussions we have in doing that is, oh, how would you illustrate the story that goes with that memory? The uniforms are cut into small pieces about the size of a postage stamp. We reclaim them as paper by putting them in a machine called a beater that beats it and macerates it and turns it into a pulp. The pulp is drained from the beater and poured into vats. The veterans pull sheets from the pulp using a mold and deckle. Then the sheets are separated, stacked and pressed to remove water. The sheets are placed in a dry box for at least 24 hours. Then the paper is ready. At that point, veterans can use printmaking techniques, draw, paint, and more. We get to communicate our stories through art, and we draw out. Everybody's got a story, so you, you, you get to experience my story, and I'll listen to yours, you know. So it's important. Right now, especially in America today, where there's no draft and where the military represents such a small portion of the American population, it's important that those voices are heard. Even for the most civilian of people, it will bring out something that they remember. For many of these veterans, working with generations of uniforms evokes lots of different emotions. These wars set us off. It reminds us of being in a war. Though Barry says this process is a way to channel some of those negative thoughts and feelings into something positive. What's the benefit of doing this? It's therapeutic. It's great. What excites me about it is that it's something I'm actually making, you know, and that I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm creating something from scratch. It's really amazing for me because I had no art experience at all. You didn't know you had it in you. Didn't know at all. <laughs> the veterans work is now featured in galleries throughout New Jersey and in other states as well. Frontline Paper also takes their show on the road. They travel to Washington DC to host workshops for our service members. And here in New Jersey, they bring their equipment to universities, hospitals, art festivals and other community events. The veterans even gave me a quick lesson on how to pull sheets of paper. Frontline Arts offers their free workshop every Sunday at their Branchburg location. This program saved my life, and I've seen it do that for others. This is a place where you can find a community and where you can express, tell your stories, create something, and grow. Grow into your life here on this side of the ocean. In Branchburg, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.